Located in the northern part of the peninsula, the Apostolic Vicarate of Northern Arabia embraces the territories of Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. This is a region where modern pro-Western economic values and principles intersect with robust elements of Muslim culture, an intriguing and dynamic meeting. Many think that there are no Christians in Arabia and they are surprised when they visit the region only to find a vibrant Catholic community, despite the limitations and restrictions on pastoral care. One can say that Arabia today is the face of a living and universal church, a bridge between diverse peoples of the world and therefore between diverse cultures. Since the early 1990s, the number of Catholic faithful in the region has grown quickly, concurrently with the unending need for migrant workers in the Arabian oil and construction industries. We don't have uh, precise estimations, but following some criteria, we can say that in Bahrain, we have 140,000 Catholics. In uh, Qatar, around 350,000. In uh, Kuwait, between 350,000, 400,000. In Saudi Arabia, one million and a half Catholics, only Catholics. More than two million Catholics practice their faith in five church buildings and several community gatherings forced to meet in private, much like in early Christianity. The working migrants originate from over 100 nations, the majority from the Philippines and India. About 90% of the faithful belong to the Latin Rite and the rest to different Eastern Rites. A few years ago, it was almost impossible to mention Christianity and the Arabian Gulf in the same sentence. Today, due to the perseverance of the indigenous Christian population, and the continuing labor migration to the Gulf, parishes and churches are filled to capacity during masses and on other occasions. This steady growth is a gift and a testament to their deep spirituality. The parish of the Holy Family in Kuwait is a witness to the vibrant life of the church in the Vicarate. 32 masses are celebrated here every weekend in 15 languages and five different rites. Parish outreach is supported by thousands of dedicated lay volunteers running catechesis, youth and family ministries, hospital and prison apostolates, and involved in social work. Bahrain became the first country in the Persian Gulf to build a Catholic church. The inaugural service in the Church of the Sacred Heart was Midnight Mass, celebrated on Christmas Eve 1939. I think at that time the Catholics were around uh, 50, 60, not more. Eh? Now we are 140,000, so uh, it is a big problem. There is a multi-purpose hall near this uh, mother church where uh, we pray, but it is not enough because also this multi-purpose hall can take 500, 600 people. So we were really in need of another place. And His Majesty the King gave us a new land for a new church. The generosity of the King of Bahrain has confronted the Vicarate with its biggest challenge in recent history, the construction of a cathedral in Bahrain dedicated to Our Lady of Arabia, patron of the entire peninsula. This cathedral will be a beacon of hope for all Christians because it ensures the continuity of the Catholic faith in this very important region. The new cathedral should take at least 2,000 people. Besides that, we need also a place for formation because when we receive the people only for Mass, it is not enough for formation of the Christians. Here, the Christians have a very difficult life, not because of the government, because they left in their own country, they left their family, they left their relatives, they left their friends, 
they are here alone. So here, our faithful suffer very, very much. So they need a special spiritual formation to help them to remain what they are. Otherwise, they are lost. The new cathedral in Awali will seat 2,300 worshippers, have underground parking for 480 cars, and dormitories to host people from the entire vicarate, especially those who come from afar. Many parishioners cross the border from Saudi Arabia, where there are no churches. From Saudi Arabia, people come to Bahrain, especially our Catholics come to Bahrain, uh, for the main reason of attending church services and receiving sacraments. Many people come to Bahrain because there is established a church here. There is a church and compound and they can come and freely they can pray, they can express their faith. And uh, every Friday, uh, believe me, every Friday there are people who keep coming. The pastoral center is especially important because of the key role it will play in the formation and development of the laity, devout people keenly dedicated to contributing to the pastoral care of this vast community. My vision is to make of the cathedral a place of fraternity for all. We can also uh, invite sometimes not Christians, not in order to convert them, not in order to attract them to the Catholic Church, or to Christianity, no. Just to have a place where we can meet each other, perhaps not to speak about religion. If startup funding becomes available, construction of the cathedral will begin in 2014 and may take three to four years to complete, depending on financial resources. Although moderate Muslims welcome this Christian presence, some more radical Islamist groups have protested against the king's donation. These protests highlight another reason why it is so crucial to complete the construction and what prompts Bishop Balin to call upon men and women of faith to be witnesses of love for those in need. To create a society formed of individuals, of people divided, alone. It is not a country, it is not a human society. It is a place for a job, place for money, place for something else. But this is not what God wants from us. God wants from us that we be witnesses of his love for all. And we witness this love for all when we love the people, the country, all what we find around ourselves where we are. The desire of our brothers and sisters to live their faith is a call to us all. Together we can build a place to worship and to serve. They are called to witness their faith. We are called to love with generosity. Mm -hmm.